Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How presumptuous of me to assume that this is not your first time, but nonetheless, apparently I'm gonna go with that today. I am going to bid you with a welcome back. Some of you may not like me for what I'm about to talk about today. Somehow, I don't even know how, I must have been owed some really good karma for something because I am a firm believer in karma. But somehow, I managed to get my hands on the newly released MAC Oh Darling Highlighter. Highlighter? Illuminator. What do they want to call themselves? Apparently neither. This is the MAC, I don't even care. All I know is I was looking for Oh Darling. But officially, just for conversation's sake, it is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Oh Darling. Basically, it's a fancy highlighter. And it is impossible to find. And in fact, when I went to purchase it, it was consistently out of stock. The Macy's website failed, I think. Mac didn't have it anymore. Clearly, they sold out immediately. Nordstrom, they went crazy about it. And somehow, I diligently kept attempting to add Oh Darling to my cart at Macy's.com and then poof, magically, it went into the cart. And I said, don't stop, just pass go, process the credit card payment, and cross your fingers. And I really kept waiting for the email to come that said, Dear Miss Creon, we're so sorry, but you placed an order that we cannot fulfill. And that never came. And you know what came instead? The box with Oh Darling inside it. So I, I really don't know how I was so lucky to get a hold of one, which brings me back to my initial point, which is why you may not like me, because I know many, many people were not able to get their hands on it. And I've been there before. I definitely know the feeling of a new release and not being able to purchase something. But I thought I would do a review today about it. And if you don't have your hands on it, maybe it will make you feel a little bit better about not being able to get it. Even though I know, let's be real, when something comes out, especially us makeup lovers, we definitely wanna get our hands on everything, whether we need it or not. I mean, we actually never need it. We simply want it for no justifiable reason except for the fact that we want it in our collection. But that being said, if you cannot get your hands on it or you're just interested in what all the hype is about, I'm gonna chat about it today and compare it to a couple other comparable highlighters and then you can decide for yourself and then maybe you won't feel so bad if you weren't able to get it because I've been there and I know what you're feeling. Except this time, I had really good karma. I can't explain it, but I have it. So let's get started. I really love the highlighter, the skin finish. I really do love it. It is a gold toned, a very light, yellow-based gold toned highlighter, which is what I like. I've mentioned that before. The silvery ones do not go well with my olive toned skin. And so the fact that this is more a yellow gold toned highlighter made me really, really excited. It is apparently an almost revival of Mac's former Whisper of Guilt, which is like, I think now is more like urban legend because people speak about it but they don't see it anymore. Others who have, have had contact with it are like the chosen ones. Whisper of Guilt came out kind of before my time, before I was as obsessed about makeup as I am now. And so it is not a part of my collection. So unfortunately I will not be comparing it to Whisper of Guilt. Although I hear the rumor and I've done the research that this is kind of the revival of it. I've also heard that it's not exactly the same. And so that's kind of interesting too. I wonder why Mac would choose well, I guess they just don't want to release something again, but they wanted to make it similar. I don't know why they don't make Whisper of Guilt part of their regular collection. As a side note, they're not paying attention to the hordes of people who wish they got their hands on Whisper of Guilt. So like I said, Oh Darling is a yellow-based, gold-toned highlighter. What I'm really happy about is that it is super easy to work with. So for example, the Mary Luminizer highlighter, although that is silver toned and silver based, um, just by comparison as far as intensity, the Mary Luminizer is major. Like you can make no mistakes with that. You have to like feather touch it to your face. Otherwise you can be seen from a very far distance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but with the skin finish, Oh Darling really is very easy to work with. It's very easy to blend. And I found it just a pleasure to use, which I was very excited about because sometimes 
cosmetics that are so intense become very hard to work with and you can get to scary real fast. So just by comparison, one of the closest releases prior to Oh Darling, one of the closest releases that I heard to Whisper of Guilt was released by Laura Geller. This is her Gilded Honey Illuminator. They call it the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator and this is the color um, Gilded Honey. And just by comparison to MAC Oh Darling, they are very, very similar. I would say that Gilded Honey is a hair, a hair, and I mean a hair, um, warmer. Um, it's almost like they took the exact same base and they added like a splash of copper to Gilded Honey. You and I both know that if we're as obsessed about makeup as we are, we can tell the difference. Will someone else naturally on the street be able to tell the difference? Probably not. They really are very, very close. Like I said, Gilded Honey has just a splash of this warmth added to it. Moving on from Laura Geller's Gilded Honey, I'm gonna talk about Anastasia Beverly Hills, her illuminators, which I actually did a review on. I'll link that video down below. My favorite of that collection is what they call um, So Hollywood, and it is her gold toned version. She had four different shades of illuminator, and this is the gold toned version. If I were to compare it to Max Oh Darling, I would say that Anastasia's is actually a hair cooler than Max Oh Darling. Um, again, they are very, very similar. In, in color as well as in texture and application. I mentioned during my review of Anastasia's that they were very easy to work with um, in the same way that I'm saying Max O Darling is. But just by comparison, I would say that So Hollywood by Anastasia is just, it's just, a, it's like a little bit lighter um, and I wanna say it just, it doesn't have the same level of warmth even though it is gold based as well it doesn't have the same exact level of warmth they are just not exactly the same but also very similar finally i want to compare oh darling to actually a drugstore highlighter which are so hard to find as far as good quality and this one i think i heard about this one from kathleen lights um, this is by Wet n Wild, this is by Fergie, and it is officially called the Center Stage Collection. The name of this illuminator is called, or highlighter, see now I'm calling all of them illuminators, and before I couldn't stop calling the illuminators highlighters. Anyway, um, this highlighter, it's called the Shimmer Palette, um, and this is the color specifically Hollywood Boulevard. The reason they call it a palette is because it is a collection of different um, kind of molded colors together. There's like a, there's definitely pink, mocha, and like a tan, and so you swirl your brush in there and it blends them all together. If I were to compare it to Max O oh Darling, I would say it also is very similar in color. I think the MAC is by far a better quality, but not, not by a ton. I mean, this Wet n Wild one really is stepping up. To compare the color, the Wet n Wild one is a little bit browner. It's not quite as gold, and it's also a little bit dimmer than Max O Darling. Whereas the three actually that I've talked about, Anastasia, Laura, and Mac, they all have a lot of shimmer and a lot of reflect to them. And I just kind of feel like the Wet n Wild just isn't as reflective, doesn't have as much shimmer. Um, as those other highlighters, but that might be what you're going for and you might not or you might have days Where you don't want to be as glowy as other days because you know, sometimes we have those days, but It's like a fraction of the price and like I said, it is it's a little bit darker um, than Max O Darling and so if you have very very light skin it might it might wind up looking a little bit muddy on your face So keep that in mind. I was really impressed with wet and wild I mean they have really over the last couple of years really been kicking it up Okay, so my point is that even though Max O Darling is awesome I'm sorry, I had to say it even though it is awesome and even though you probably don't need it I'm sure you really wanted it, and if you were not able to get it, I'm really, really sorry. But 
I was really surprised that there were some really comparable dupes out there with just some slight variation in there. So thank you for spending this time with me. I am on Instagram and Twitter if you have a chance to check me out over there. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would really appreciate it. I do hope you have a good rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And in the meantime, thanks. So, you know, to the naked eye or to, not to the naked eye, to the naked eye, that is always such a weird thing, whatever. I always sit down and I'm like, okay, you're going to be brief and you're not going to ramble. And then to start it off, I give the longest intro I think I've ever given. Okay, clearly I need like a director, but I don't take direction very good. So I don't think a director would help me. I like to be in charge and in control. So like I said, oh, dar I almost called it whisper of guilt. Oh, darling. Lipstick on the teeth. Check. Because I've actually done that. I don't think I've ever been out in public with lipstick on my teeth. Maybe because I'm always so conscious of it. But here on a video, lipstick on my teeth. Did not know until was editing. Was very frustrated and more than a little bit pissed off. So, lipstick on the teeth. Check.